we're going to continue looking at editing text and in this video we're going to talk about how you can use the break apart feature to break text into individual segments and so again I'm just going to select this text object and show you that it's still text lettering and even though I've done several modifications to the letter sort of locations and the fonts um, it's still sort of a text object now when it's selected with my rectangle selection tool if I right click over top there is the option to break apart and if I choose break apart what it does is it actually just creates an individual shape for each letter and they become their own entities and it's really no longer lettering of text I can't go back and you know change the font or anything like that I could start a new lettering but I can't rechange these ones anymore I mean I could if I said undo but in general that's what break apart does is it reverses the fact that this is lettering and it creates the letters into um, individual artwork segments and there could be lots of reasons why you may want to make um, you know each letter individual and then have them to be able to modify them kind of on their own style so see how I can now you know play with each letter on its own and change the style or size so anyhow um, break apart lettering and again maybe why don't I just show that again so we'll just put in here Put in the word phonograph, okay, select it, right click over top, and choose break apart. And once it's broken apart, then yes, each letter is its own kind of individual entity and could be then, uh, you know, modified in a different way from the rest of them. So if you want the letter P to be, um, you know, run stitches, but the rest of them to be not or whatever. So that's the point about break apart is that you can make each one individual and resize it or change its style or technique of fill and outline. 